I'm yawning. And that oop. Delish is a website. Yeah. Along with Vulture, yeah. which is the offshoot of New York Magazine. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. And Vulture concentrates, focuses on entertainment stuff. Mm-hmm. On Delish and Vulture, I ran out of free articles. So if, I, if I'm on Facebook and I click a Delish or Vulture link, I get the message, you are out of free articles for the month. Please pay us. Please subscribe. Please give us your credit card number. And I never do that. Does it restart every month? Yes. Okay. I never pay. And I think, well, you just lost yourself a reader. Ronan Farrow. Hmm. <laughs> and and I, I go back to Facebook. And I go to the other 9 million pieces of content on the internet. And what? somehow you find something else to read. Right. In this endless sea of content. Exactly. So why do they charge? Well, I know why they charge. <coughs> but. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Bless does me. anyone subscribe or pay or say, well, I'm out of, I read, I read my six delish, uh, time lapse <laughs> food cooking videos for the month. So I'm going to pay eight dollars. There's never been anything. I've, I've come up against a paywall that's worth paying for. Right. I move on. I forget. And, and there's my nine, life goes on. nine trillion pieces of content. It's the internet. It's endless. And that oop. Greetings, internet. Welcome to But I'm Still a Good Person by Vince Nicholas. I'm Vince Nicholas. I'm joined by my, by my sparkling wifey, Carolyn Nicholas. That's me. Hello, honey. Thank you for joining, at our, joining me at our dining room table for our little program here. Okay, now let's get into it. Um, I wanted to update everyone. Although with podcasts, the newest pod is at the top. So if someone didn't listen to a previous pod, oh, yeah. and they just go down the list in chronological order, this makes no sense. But to summarize, uh, we moved into our condominium complex in May 2020. It is currently July 2020. 2021. May tw- July Correct. 2021. Sorry. 20 to 20. May 2020, we moved in. July 2021, we we're currently in. May 2020, we were in the midst of the pandemic. Gavin Newsom said, don't swim in your pool or you're going to get the COVID. So we we haven't swam in the pool until mid-June. June 15th. 2021. Right. Was when Gavin said, hey, go ahead and swim. <laughs> it's not so dangerous anymore. I decree it is safe. Yes. And we... So mid June, June fifteen, we started swimming in our pool, our condo pool, loving it. But since June fifteenth, it is and it is the specific date. The actual date is July twenty. So it's been a month and five days, a little over a month. Within a month and five days, the pool has been closed twice, twice due to poop, fecal matter. Yes. Oh. Doo doo. Poo poo. Uh, yes. And so uh, the first time we were like, what's going on here? But it, it was back in two days. 48 hours. It was reopened. Yeah. They quote unquote shocked the pool with chemicals and chlorine and formaldehyde and hydroxychloroquine. And, <laughs> uh, they scooped the poop out with a little fishnet. What's the stuff that they put on a, a rag and then they put on your nose and you. Chloroform? Chloroform. They put chloroform in there for all we know. Uh, and and the, the first time... They put some pine salt in there. They put some pine salt in there. They put some Mr. Clean, uh, the, the the toilet, the toilet scrubs. All the Remember those commercials with the, the little bubbles that would... Oh, scrubbing run. bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember uh, my uh, old roommate slash current BFF, Chris Douthit... We used to watch those commercials of the bubbles flying all over the toilet and fl- animated bubbles flying all over the bathtub. And he'd be like, that's the brand to get. That's what we're going to buy. Were you guys on acid? Well, not acid, honey. <laughs> it's called ecstasy. Okay. Oh, dear. Acid was 80s. Oh. We, were in the, we were in the aughts, honey. <laughs> uh, what am I talking about? The pool. Uh, so uh, it's been closed twice within... It's been less than a month, right? Days. Less than a, 
Yeah. A little over a month. Slightly About over. a month. Mm-hmm. Let's say a month. 15. And first time it was closed two days. Second time it was closed for four days. Uh, it was closed Tuesday and was reopened on Saturday, Saturday morning. Correct. Is that four days or five? Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday. And then it was open Saturday, which is the four fifth day. Four and a half days. Four and a half days. Uh, but yeah, twice because of poop. So it it, it rocked our world, honey, because we love <sighs> the pool. We were devastated. Lennox Albert, darling son, is a water baby. You put that kid in a body of water, and he's good for four to five hours. <laughs> uh, darling daughter, Luna Marie, not so much a water baby anymore. Water baby anymore. But she can get out there. Yeah. She, she can go out there She's for an hour. She's happy for a little, bit, a little while. And that oop. So, pool closed Tuesday. Uh, pool reopened Saturday. Four, four and a half days, however you call it. Um, and then I remember us coming home from, from Grandma Bev's. Because we were at Grandma Bev's. We were Drop, out in front of her house, right. whatever. Uh, Dropping off the kids for the weekend. Right. When I got the notice on my phone, like the email saying, pools reopen. We were like, oh, good. Saturday. It's Saturday. We can go out there. Yep. We can have fun. And then we drove home from Grandma Bev's and we saw some people already in the pool. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to say, have fun swimming in your shit. <laughs> no. But uh, they they were it was it's like when they when they put when whoever whenever they built the Golden Gate Bridge when they first built it it was like hey why don't you uh, drive across the Golden Gate Bridge first <laughs> right <laughs> I'll be second I'll be third in line <laughs> uh, but the first time the poop uh, happened it was two days second time was four days so I'm thinking are they punishing us um, like, i'm thinking this was quite the poop this was quite this the poop. was twice as bad as the first time around Oof. You, you don't think next time it's gonna be six days seven days like we need to teach you people to mm, stop pooing oh. in the pew no, i i think the uh amount yeah the the viscosity the seriousness the body of the item in question is what determines how long the pool is closed the structural integrity <laughs> Of the doo doo, uh, okay. The for four days. Now you told Grandma Bev about this issue. I did. And her response was, "What, honey? What? What did she have to say?" She said, "This happened at her gym." Yeah, she Wait. goes to a gym and they have a pool. Yeah, like and, people swim laps and. Right. But she would just take the kids in the gym pool for fun, and yeah. they would just sw- swim in it a lot. Yeah. Um. And this, the the gym pool closed for poo poo. Right. Uh, well, my my first my initial instinct is that the pool be closed because of a baby. And that oop. So, so, so Grandma Bev. So my my theory was that it, it was a baby. Yeah, you've always thought a baby is the culprit. Yes, a baby. And a then toddler. we learned this happened at a gym. Right. Where at first I thought, okay, a gym. It's like teens and older. Right. But then she would take our children there to swim. I wonder if other people were taking younger kids even to swim. Hmm. Our kids were like mm, 7 and 10. Yeah. 8 and 11 when yeah. she would take them. I wonder if other people would bring their children who were even younger. Well, I highly doubt because I don't know if you know, honey, I lift. Oh, what? Yeah, I work out. As in weights? As in dumbbells? Yeah. I, I do a... Uh... I did some shoulder presses today with 45-pound dumbbells. Ooh. I don't know if you can tell, honey. Uh, but uh, I used to, slash currently, slash am a member of 24-Hour Fitness on Micron, where Hannah Duke Keller goes. And there's a pool there. And I look in there. I don't go in the pool because I find it disgusting. But there are people in there, and I never see a chill, a child, a chill. <laughs> a children. A- Chow, a wow, chow. I never see a toddler in there. I never see a baby in there. I never see children in there. I see old people. I see seniors. So my initial uh, uh, theory, proclamation, was that it's a baby. You brought in the, maybe it's an old person. I was like, "Eh, I don't know about that. But now that Grandma Bev brought in this uh, hypothesis that old people, (laughs) that it's, it's at their gym, it might be an old person who yeah. lost all their constitution. And you know what else she brought up is that she wasn't so scared of the pool, but she absolutely stays away from the hot tub. 
Oh. She says that's where the the cesspool of nastiness is. I I heard that. That's where the germs are. I heard heard that's where Vince Nicholas pees, honey. (laughs) By the way. Oh, dear. On Monday, I was walking towards the koozie, as it were, to (laughs) pee. And Lennox Albert, darling son, screamed out, are you going in there to go pee? And I was like, shh. la boca. No one else was there, thank goodness, at the pool at that time. But uh, Didn't he say that to you again today? When you guys were yeah, there? Yeah. What did he say today? The same thing. Are you going to pee? Are you going in there to go to the bathroom? Shh. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't be shy. You'll grow up to be a mockingbird. Is that how it goes, any? <laughs> Uh, okay, so today, Lennox Albert and I went to the pool, the La Piscina, as I say in Spanish, honey, uh, and we got there, and there was a family there, mother, father, child. What age was the child? Good question. I have no idea, <laughs> but I would deem them a toddler, because the dad had to hold this child. Okay. Uh, we've seen the young one who had like a float. A couple of times we have seen a little baby who I yes. think is about eight months old. It's okay. Little enough to be not even big enough for floaty, like arm floaties right. or chest floaty. Little right. enough that they have to put them their legs in this little floaty. Yeah. And hold them the whole time. Okay. That oh. is someone who's under a year old. Okay, good. Okay, good. You have more experience in children yeah. and babies and whatever. So, initially, I didn't... I was like, is, is this person... I knew they were under five. I could surmise that. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I got that from my... Uh, I'm, I'm like Inspector Gadget with his uh, trench coat and his silly hat, honey. <laughs> Looking for the poop <laughs> with his uh, eyeglass. I, I could tell this baby... And at that age, very, when they're very young, you can't tell if they're a boy or a girl. But I, I, <laughs> I, I figured out... I, I think she was a girl. So let's just go with girl. They must have been very young if you couldn't tell if it was a boy or girl. Right, exactly. Okay. So I I knew she was under five. I, I could <laughs> I, I, was, I was like seventy to ninety percent sure she was under five. But uh what, was she two, three, four, or one? I do not know. But <laughs> that's quite the difference. <laughs> right. But if if we talk about uh the baby in the float that we've seen. Right, yeah. Uh, I would say she was very similar to that. So oh, okay. probably around, around one. Around one. Yeah. Uh, we, so darling son, Lennox Albert and I went swimming today. And we came upon the pool and there was a mom who was drinking, by the way, honey. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, a dad who was not as good looking as me, honey. <laughs> who is? Yeah, well, I don't want to brag, but... Someone here in our condominium complex calls me the Thor of Riva. Wow. Yeah. Would that be your wife? That someone is you. Yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, so mom, dad, and then baby, who I would, I, I think is around one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this isn't unsolved mysteries, but I, I, I do my best. <laughs> I'm not Columbo, honey, but I put... Uh, a and B together, and I got C, and this baby is one. So, mom was drinking, uh, and then dad was holding baby. So, the baby can't swim. The baby has, the baby doesn't, it's is just the being a baby. <laughs> and so, right away, immediately, I was like, this is the pooper. This is her. This is her. Swarm. Call 911. Call the Pope on the Google. Call HOA. Swarm. Swarm. Call HOA. HOA. Get here right away. Call the Yolo Health County uh, supervisor. Call Gavin Newsom. Call Joe Biden. Okay. We have found (laughs) the person who is guilty. (laughs) And so the whole time I was just like, what's going on here? Is she... Is she going to poop? That's all I kept thinking of. Were you and Lennox scared to get in the water? Lennox was not. <laughs> Lennox was, uh, he was, he was, uh, ambivalent to it. He, he couldn't care less, but that's all I could, I could think of. That's all I could think of was this, is this baby <clears throat> pooping? Is it about to poop? Has it pooped? I wonder if is the baby, was the baby wearing a water diaper? Not that that's a great container of, yeah. uh, poop. Yeah. But it's better than not wearing one. Yeah. 
See, I don't know because I didn't want to like. I couldn't tell either. If they were in the water, I wouldn't yeah. be able to tell. And I didn't want to stare. <laughs> Like, is you, like do a baby uh, diaper inspection. Like, what's going on there? Hello, I'm not a pedophile. I'm from the Yolo County Health Department. I don't know. But well, this brings me to a question, honey. You've uh, ba- baby diapers. If and not to get too graphic, but if a baby poops in his diaper while it's in the pool, is that reason to close off the entire pool, or I... is it sort of self-contained? Uh, n- diapers are not guaranteed to contain any sort of fecal matter. Okay. And poop is toxic. You could yes. get like, I forget what it's called, some sort of like toxicity. Toxic shock in your- syndrome. Bev said the term and the whatever that happens when you get poop on you. Mm-hmm. So it's not good. It's, I- call- it's called having poop on you, honey. Yes. <laughs> you definitely don't want to swim in water contaminated with poop. For mm-hmm. sure. It's like, it's toxic to to your body, yeah. to humans. And it's poison. Um, and, and the diaper is no safeguard versus no. this pew. It, the water diaper, if you put a normal diaper in water, it immediately like disintegrates. Really? It, oh, well, so that, they have, that's, they have that, yeah, specific yeah. special water diapers, oh, swimming diapers. Okay, okay. Those kind of like expand. Mm-hmm. So when, you, when you're done swimming, you take them off the baby and they're like, they've like expanded. Yeah. So I think they absorb the pee, probably. Okay. For some reason, I guess I got really lucky. I don't re- remember either of my kids ever pooping in their swim diapers. While they were in... While they were in the water? The piscina. I guess I just got lucky. I never mm. had that experience. Okay. So I don't know what the where, how it would have handled the poop. Okay. But it, it doesn't... It like it doesn't keep its form. It doesn't absorb. It's It's not great. Right. It absorbs pee and water a bit, but the longer you stay in the water, the more it like gets bigger and bigger, mm. and it's gross. And it does it like <laughs> falls. It, it, it's it's really so weird. instantly it, it starts expanding like, yeah. like a loaf not of bread instantly. or something when you put not yeast. instantly, but like after an hour, okay. it, like it's it's like it like what? it's it's what? gross. What? It's big. What kind of enjoyment <laughs> is there? Any enjoyment in bringing your baby to a pool? Uh, okay. There, it's super fun for the parent to bring their baby to the pool. Right. It's super cute. Put them in their little swimsuit. Take a picture. Their little hat and sunglasses. Take a picture for Instagram. Yeah. Put them in their little floaty. That's but you know what? The baby might love being in the water. Guess yeah. what? They yeah. could be just as happy in the bathtub at home. Right. You could put so, them in a cardboard box in the living room. And well, they'll, I don't they'll think be that, good for six hours. I don't hours. think that would hold water very well. But if you want your baby to enjoy water, yeah. put it in the bathtub or your sink. Yeah. So taking a kid to a public pool, that's just about you. Right. That's okay. that's my opinion. Okay. So I I can't stop focusing on this mom, dad, baby. I that's all I can think about is Well, it's like it's like when I look at our our, uh, our cat, Frankie Blue Nicholas. I'm just wondering, when's he gonna poop again? When's the last time he pooped? Is he gonna poop on the floor? And to take it another step. When's he going to vomit again? Because he vomits. He, he enjoys vomiting, honey. Well, at least he poops in his litter box. He vomits. Right. Who knows well, where? I, the I'm kitchen? Waiting, I'm waiting for the accident. He's not, um, he's not He's not an adult <laughs> human. I don't think he's going to have an accident until he's like super old and feeble. But he's vomited Yeah, but in our he, kitchen. He's never pooped or peed outside his litter box. Well, I, 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 that's a true statement, but I don't know how long uh, the veracity of, of that <laughs> statement will hold. Um, but so I was completely focused on this mom, dad, baby, and I, I couldn't enjoy my time with my darling stepson, Lennox Albert. At one point, the dad, he said, so the baby did whatever the baby did. Cute things happen when you have a baby, honey. I don't know if you know. Oh, yeah. I've never had a baby, but you've had one and we have a, a cat and he does cute things all the flipping time. Right. Uh, but at one point, something happened. This ba- I assume this baby did something adorable. And the dad was like, ooh. <laughs> but in my mind, you know what I heard? Poo. <laughs> so I started like, wh- I, I like, I, I, fl- I flashed. I was, I flinched. I was like, what's happening? Did, Where, did the baby poo? poo? Where's the poo? Where's the poo? Right, right. It freaked me out, honey. And so th- this, this is the way to enjoy 
The pool! This sounds traumatic. It was. I'm sorry you had to endure that. It was. And Lennox made me stay there for an hour and 45 minutes, honey. And that oop. So the the baby, whatever this human is, (laughs) baby slash toddler, they have no constitution. They have no body movement sovereignty. And that oop. So what is the purpose of taking this baby to the pool? I think it's, again, it's just fun for the parents. The parents want to go to the pool. Right. The parents want to get out in the sunshine and put them in their little swim costume with their little hat and sunglasses. And they'll ruin the pool for the entire river <laughs> condominium complex? I wonder, if, I wonder if they get home and yeah. the turd is inside the little swim diaper. Oh, uh, and then? And then they're like, oh, it pooped. Our, not it. <laughs> Our they, child pooped. Z. Our child pooped in the pool. Yeah. This is what we still don't know is if the poop has like gotten free in the pool water. Right. Was or if it, the poop has like been contained it, in the water diaper. Was it swimming with its own pool If float? the parents get home, change yeah. the water diaper, see a poop in there. Then they what? might not even realize that they were the culprit. And then Although, do they call... Do they call HOA? <gasps> do they call the popo on yeah. the go-go? How is it discovered? That's a whole oh, another it, ev- There's so many mysteries still surrounding our condominium pool. Yeah. But my, my thing is that the baby, because I was observing this whole thing, the baby, for one second, it's crying. <laughs> the next second, it's laughing. The next second, it's ru- it's running around on the cement about to smash its head into the jacuzzi and the dad has to like yank on the baby's hoodie. It was just, <laughs> the, it, it's not for the baby. It's for the parents. And you, you for, for the gram, um. for Instagram, for the, for the super cute pictures. And you've had darling daughter Luna Marie. You have pictures of her in a pool. Oh, so adorable. Right. Uh, you also, there also is a part of the parents who want to get the baby in some sort of activity to make it tired. So mm-hmm. it will sleep better when you get home. Uh, so maybe being out in the sun and like moving around in the again, water and running around will it's all wear about, it out. It's all about you. Right? <laughs> uh, what? Okay. So, well, another thought I had was that the parents maybe need some time alone. Sometimes to just dawdle around and do nothing and hang out. Again, the mom was drinking. I don't know if you know, honey. And as Homer Simpson said, alcohol is the beginning and cause of all life's problems. Uh, but why not get a babysitter? Like, why why, why inflict this toddler well, and, and its feces onto the river condominium complex? Maybe they don't have anyone they can entrust with mm. the welfare of their child. Hop on next door. It's okay. <laughs> get get a babysitter. Uh, but well, the the baby's fun is very limited. They they don't know what's going on. Again, yeah. It's about the parents, and yeah, it's hot. But get one of those uh, plastic pools from Walmart. They in, cost thirty bucks or whatever. Fill it with the hose in water. your garage or on your patio. In your both either. And and not not close down an entire pool for an entire condominium complex, honey. Another thing, the baby being there, it impacted my enjoyment and darling son Lennox Albert's enjoyment. We can't cannonball. We can't splash each other like crazy. Oh, really? Lennox Albert likes to go crazy. He likes to be. He like. There's a lot of frivolity. There's a lot of uh, yeah. He's wild. Yeah, he he goes nuts in the pool. And we, we kind of, we had to chill for this one-year-old who's probably pooping in our pool. <laughs> so wh- what's up with that, darling? I don't know, honey. I, I feel bad if this baby is not the culprit and we're throwing all these accusations at it. Yeah. But it probably is. Yeah. I think the, I think the parents got aware that Lennox Aubrey and I were in the hizzy in the house. And so they... Because you were glaring at them? Is that why? <laughs> we were just, we were... Counting the counting the seconds for it to leave, but uh, at one point the dad uh, went into the hot tub, which wasn't on, and they were like, and and the mom said something like, "Is it hotter than bath water?" And he goes, eh, "It's pretty hot." Yeah, and it so, is. It's like a hundred degrees in there. Right. Well, there's no kiddie pool, so we'll, we'll, what's the point? The point is, uh, I want to bring that baby in for questioning. <laughs> Starry dices. Hmm. <laughs> Over here with Starry Dice's chamber. Hmm. Well, I want to sit in a room, a dark room, with just a light hanging from the ceiling. 
just a single light that may be swinging back and forth. And like a baby swing? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and bring it in for questioning and ask it the real questions. You poo-poo? The to- <laughs> Do you poo-poo? You poo-poo pool? Do you poo-poo in the pool? Do you shut down? Do you <laughs> cause the email from HOA? Uh, so what are the solutions? Uh, should we ban kids, honey? Five and under, six and I don't under? Think should, that's should we realistic. ban them from the pool? I don't think that's realistic to enforce. Right. Well, it's like the alcohol <laughs> ban. The alcohol and food ban, which no one uh, seems to pay attention to. <laughs> I think the less rules, the better. Hmm. Just let everyone do their own and let us all deal with the consequences. What are you, what are you an anarchist, honey? <laughs> what are you, a Democrat? Just kidding. Uh, okay, so don't. Don't ban kids. Uh, Except for ours, maybe. Ban everyone else. <laughs> uh, w- would you ban... So... And uh, oop. Okay. Would you... So, w- there, there's video. And there there's a big sign saying oh. everything is on video. Right, we because got you. during the... Last year, during the lockdown, yeah. when the pool is close to everybody, there's yeah. video of a, ho- a alleged homeless man jumping the fence and... Going into the spa, and they emailed our HOA emailed that to every resident of our condos. Right? Do you recognize this person? Right. So yeah, now they have cameras everywhere because they're afraid of someone else jumping the fence and breaking in. Right. And I realize you would have to employ like a a a, a forensic analyst to uh, watch twenty four hours of video, closed circuit television, security camera footage. but if you could deduce and figure out which family, which baby, this <laughs> yeah. poo-poo came from, would banning the family make sense? Huh. Would it? Well, I I think that's the only solution. Like <laughs> you you can't come to the pool for six months. Your fob is rejected. Um, you cannot get in. How about not a not a ban? But how about a fine? And then everyone else's HOA fees are lowered for the month. A sign says. This <laughs> this family where the mom is drinking. Hmm. The culprit has been found. They've been fined. Your HOA fees are deduced by two dollars. Everyone Wonderful. lowers their HOA by two dollars for the following month. We were paying two hundred sixty five dollars a month, <laughs> not being able to use. Well, that was Gavin Gavin Newsom's fault. And that oop. So you're not cool with banning kids, but you're cool with banning the family for. A month, three uh, months, six months, a year, no, forever. No. No. Uh, how about this? Kids are only allowed if they're potty trained and do not need a water diaper. How are you going to verify that? It's like it's like uh, you you. It's like grocery outlet saying you don't have to wear a mask right. if you're vaccinated. It's pointless. Mm. It's pointless. Right. So I I, I don't I, I say across the board ban of children. Under five, under six, I, I don't know. Make a decision. How do they come up with the DUI oh, again, 21 How, how are under? they going to verify a child's over five or six? Bouncer. <laughs> Bouncer. Hmm. That guy in the wheelchair who's the mayor. The mayor. We the call mayor, him the mayor. The mayor is going to be the bouncer. Checking IDs. Hmm. Do uh, six-year-olds have an ID? <laughs> are you no. able to drive? Birth you... certificates. Birth the... Honey, you're, you're just making it too easy. QR codes. Hmm. <laughs> Vaccine passports. Ever hear of them? Uh, one more thing I wanted to think about. So, pools have filters and in filters, there, leaves show up and, and dead bugs show up and all, all sorts of nonsense. Mm, all sorts of vermin. Yeah. So, today uh, I was like, well, I'm going to, for whatever reason, I. I I, I, just, I ripped off the lid off the filter. Why did you rip the lid off the filter? I don't know. Because I... Oh, well, it comes back to poop, honey. Uh, but I ripped off the filter and I was like, oh, there's some dead bugs in here. There's some leaves, whatever. But then I thought, is this how the poop was discovered? So, pool man rips off the filters and kind of sees what's going on and, and scrapes all, all the nonsense out of there. Does he see a piece of feces... And say, oh, close down the pool. Mm. And then if you remember, darling son, Lennox, Albert, and I, the last time we swam together on, we swam on that Tuesday when the pool was closed. Right. So, the day. The day the poo, the the poo day, entered the pool. So what was the poo in there the, oh, for gosh. two hours, for eight hours? And then pool man rips off the filter, 
to clean it out and he sees, oh, there's a piece of duty in there. So, uh, again, well, how, how does this all get discovered? How does how, this come about? Would, how, how does the HOA get notified? Before the piece of poo gets into that filtered little yeah, pool, yeah. it would have to float about the pool before it like went into the wall, into that little filter thing. Right. Wouldn't somebody see it before it got in there? Theoretically. <laughs> But what if it was just this family where the mom was drinking, honey, alcohol? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Ever hear of it? Mm-hmm. Don't drive. Don't drink and drive. Uh, don't but, drink and swim with your baby. <laughs> if so, if we had a toddler and they did that and they got out of the diaper, <laughs> and I I would walk away. I'd be like, <laughs> I don't would, know anything. I like, didn't see anything. You wouldn't scoop it out like we scoop out dead bugs with our hands and, and like yellow jackets. No. I would scoop it out with my hands. Okay. Well, you're better than And then the I would put it mom. in the trash can. You're better than average mom, honey. And then we'd run away. <sighs> we need to ban this family. We need to ban toddlers is my... Uh, Sounds like you're prejudiced against children. I am. Well, the ones that aren't ours, honey. <laughs> ours are perfect. And that oop. All righty. That's the end of the program. It's been fun, but not really. Let's all try a little harder next time. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, review, and rate, or don't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown-up. Make your own decisions. Do what's best for your family. And that oop. Please be sure to use our promo code for Squarespace. We don't have a promo code for Squarespace. Goodbye. I love you. We love you. We hope you have a good day today and tomorrow. And sure, I may have federally indicted a toddler for pooping in our pool, but I'm still a good person. And we're still good people. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day slash night. Bye-bye.